everybody and welcome to this week's Make Light video. Today it's all about my tripod setup. I have avoided using tripods for years because I find them such a faff to put up, to take down, to work out which bit goes where, to make them even and by the time I've done all that I'm like oh I've got no natural light left. <laughs> So I'm not a big fan of the tripod, but this year I had decided at the end of last year that this year was going to be the year that I embraced the tripod once and for all and got over my hatred of them. And one of the things really pushing me forward into doing this was because I wanted to take overhead images with both my hands in. So I wanted to be able to take images of me making things or me doing a flat day or um, lots of different things. I wanted my hands in, having a cup of tea. I find images with both hands in them. I really like them. I think they tell a great story and I wanted to be able to use this and I also wanted to be able to video my flat lay construction to share with you. So I knew that I had to get a good tripod set up. I tried various <laughs> amusing ways, which maybe I will share with you one day, to try and avoid <laughs> using the tripod. And I kind of had my phone washi taped up on little things and um, it was all a bit crazy. So I have put away my crazy contraptions and I now have a tripod arm on my tripod, which I will show you and I can use that with my iPhone, with my Olympus pen, with my Canon, with any camera. I can attach my camera to my tripod arm and do all sorts of brilliant stuff hands free. So I'm going to take you over now to my favorite table in the studio and show you how it's all set up and hopefully you will be inspired to make some hands-free, both hands in the picture images to share on Instagram too. So here is my tripod with the tripod arm and that's over my special table that you will have seen so many times before. So this is the tripod arm and that just fits on to my tripod. So it can be just a normal tripod or a tripod with this tripod arm. And then at the end of the arm, I have this little contraption that's for my iPhone. So my iPhone can slot into there and then, or my camera. So I, if I don't, if I want to use my Canon or my Olympus pen, then I can attach it to the end of the camera arm, sorry, the tripod arm without the little um, clamp for the iPhone. So the little clamp for the iPhone just comes on and off and then I can use the tripod arm for um, photographing with a camera rather than um, an iPhone. So I can do either and as you can see it's over the table so once I pop it on I will be able to photograph this scene with my hands in as well which I'll show you just in a second. And this is just brilliant, not only for taking photographs with your hands when you want to style something like that, um, it's great for doing videos of DIY. But now the camera, the iPhone and the video camera is attached to the tripod arm. And now you can see that I can now put both my hands in the video and I can take images, I could style a flat lay, I could take a photograph of myself having a cup of tea, having a little tea break like that. I could be, excuse my wire of my microphone coming in there, obviously you're a bit more careful when you're videoing this. Um, you know, I could show you how I am going to photograph these ranunculus, I could style a whole flat lay, I could be doing some painting, I could be making something. It's just brilliant and even if you don't want to take a picture or do any filming with your hands in, it's just brilliant for being able to do stop motion, for being able to, to style something. So, you know, you have your, your um, camera here and you've got both hands free and you can really see. So you might think, oh, I want that to be over there. I don't like that. I want something like that. I need some more flowers down here. 
Let's bring these into the picture. And you can do this while looking at the screen, which is just such a massive advantage. I mean, I am such a through the viewfinder photographer, but now that I have overcome that and, um, and love using my iPhone and my Olympus pen and using the screens as much as I love using the viewfinder, it means that actually taking pictures in this way, I, I actually quite enjoy now. So I'm just making up this little scene for you here and then I can take some photographs of it and it's all done with my hands in and my hands are free and this is all videoing on the tripod arm. So I will take some pictures which I will share with you over on makelight.io and I think I'm hoping that you're all going to be really inspired to get yourselves a tripod arm and have a go with this. And then we can all take pictures with both hands in the image like that one. I hope that's been really, really useful for you and given you lots of inspiration to embrace the tripod in 2016 as well. If you do take some images using this setup and get yourself a tripod and you want me to see them on Instagram, I would absolutely love to. And so please tag me at Emily Quinton so I can see your creations. That would be amazing. And if you would like some more tips for your photography, then please don't forget that you can sign up to one of my online courses over on matelight.io. Or if you can get to London, you could come to my studio you could use my tripod and you could join in one of my workshops in my studio. I would absolutely love to meet you soon. Take care everyone, have a great week and keep taking photographs.